Decentralized finance is reinventing the financial system on the blockchain. Contrary to traditional finance, DeFi is open to everyone and it's fully transparent. And today is one of the most popular use cases for blockchain. If you are a developer and you want to get into Web3, you have to know DeFi. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Edoblocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Most of the DeFi industry is on Ethereum, with $100 billion of total value locked and hundreds of DeFi protocols. There are also DeFi apps on other blockchains like Binance Smart Chain, Polygon or Solana, but it's still much smaller than on Ethereum. The idea of DeFi started in 2017 when the MakerDAO protocol was released. MakerDAO created DAI, the first stablecoin. DAI is an ERC20 token in a smart contract. What makes DAI so special is that its price always stays very close to $1. There are some variations, but the whole MakerDAO system creates incentives to maintain the peg of DAI. This is a really big deal because in order to build a financial system, you need an asset whose value is stable. Today, there are many other stablecoins like USDC, USDT, but DAI was the first one and is still to this day one of the most decentralized stablecoins. Another important protocol launched in 2017 is Compound. Compound is a lending and borrowing platform for ERC20 tokens. The interest rate is determined by the code of a smart contract depending on supply and demand. In 2018, another important protocol was launched called Uniswap. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange. Anybody can buy or sell ERC20 tokens on Uniswap. Like for Compound, the price is determined with an algorithm depending on supply and demand. The pricing algorithm is called the constant product formula. Uniswap was very important in DeFi and it was forked by many projects like SushiSwap on Ethereum or PancakeSwap on Binance Smart Chain. And beside this, we also have many other protocols that are even more advanced. For example, DYDX offers leverage trading and Nexus Mutual offers insurance for DeFi. So how can you get started in DeFi as a developer? First, make sure you understand how to code smart contracts and Web3 applications. After, you can start exploring the main concept in DeFi like ERC20 tokens, liquidity pools, and liquidations. And to continue your learning of DeFi, you can check out this series on my channel. I will see you there.